Hello folks, uh, this is another video in changing the memory on a HP 6715 laptop. As you can see on this laptop, there, 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 there the latches that hold the keyboard in place securely to the frame. All you need to do is just press down. Okay, that's one part done. Then you need to turn the laptop over on its back. You'll need to take out right this. On this laptop, there, there, and just under there, there's another screw. Unscrew that to lift this out. Undo this screw. Undo the screw here, here. Put them to one side and then uh, you're ready to take out the memory. On this particular laptop, the memory is both on the back and under the keyboard. Again, it's quite simple. As you can see, for most users, this memory will be spare. There's the slot. All you need to do is put memory in at 45 degrees and then, then just press down. These are the locking clips to hold it in position once the memory is. Then all you do is put this cover back on and the memory is there. Okay, for those who are more adventurous, undo the screws there. Here and here. You notice there's a, like a keyboard mark. There. This indicates that the keyboard is held in place by these screws. Here, here, and here. Okay. I've already done this to uh, speed the uh, process up. Turn the laptop over on its front. There we go. And it just pops out. As you can see on this, if you want to change the keyboard, you just take the ribbon cable out of here, this bit here, and your keyboard is exchanged. I'm assuming you'll have the same set of facilities that I would when I'm at home. As you can see, there's a ribbon cable. So if you damage the keyboard, just take the three screws out, put the latches back, and the keyboard comes out. This is where the main memory is. Again, all you need to do is just press it to one side, put the latches out, and it pops out. Put the new memory in, all you need to do is just take the old one out, put it in at 45 degrees, like so, and just gently push down until you hear the click. As you can see it's spring loaded, it goes on uh, quite easily, and there you are. Memory change. As you can see it's only taken me a few minutes, um, that's it. Remember, just grab the memory by the edges. Never touch the sims and you'll be okay. So then the next thing to do is then just put the keyboard back in like so. And just push the slots up.
please remember not to uh, push the uh, keys off their uh, pad otherwise you'll have to replace the keys and that's it folks how to change keyboard and memory in one go on a HP 6715 laptop don't forget put all the screws back and you've got a working laptop thanks for watching folks